rapturous welcome for one of Pakistan's most controversial clerics. Within a year of creating his party, Kadim Rizvi has become a national political figure. His popularity, though, is based on support for another man. Mumtaz Qadri shot dead a politician trying to reform Pakistan's blasphemy laws. He was executed by the government, but here he's regarded as a hero. In many ways, this is an incredible sight. A mass rally in the heart of Pakistan by a political party whose main inspiration is a convicted killer. Rizvi leads a chant, until the end of time we'll remember your name, Mumtaz Qadri. Many have expressed outrage he's been allowed to take part in the elections. Your platform is about stricter punishment for people committing blasphemy in, in Pakistan. But in Pakistan, there's already the death penalty for, for people who are committing blasphemy. So what, what, more, do you, what more do you really want? We want to make that law and the laws are going to be destroyed and the laws are going to be destroyed and the laws are going to be destroyed. Rizvi's party, TLP, has been linked to serious political violence. In May, a supporter tried to assassinate the country's interior minister after the government made a minor change in wording to an electoral oath, which led to accusations of blasphemy. Ersan Iqbal survived and is now on the campaign trail, speaking out against TLP. The party did condemn the incident, but he still wants more action to be taken against them. The leader of this party came to my town and excited uh, his followers uh, to you know, teach me a lesson and teach lesson to my generations. I think uh, that is uh, uh, unacceptable that that kind of violence or excitement or hate-based speech should be allowed by any party uh, that uh, is registered by election commission. I have a bullet in my body uh, which will remain in my body for the rest of the life and it will remind me that we have to take hate speech and hate ideologies as a challenge. How many inshallah Pakistan ka election learner? Other Islamist figures are also on the campaign trail. This is Hafiz Sayyid, alleged to be the mastermind of the 2008 Mumbai attacks, though he denies that. He's not standing himself, but hundreds of his supporters are. The Islamist parties are unlikely to win many seats, but they are drawing religious voters away from the ruling PMLN party. It's led to accusations they're tacitly backed by the intelligence services trying to oust the current government, though they deny that. It's the rapid growth in popularity of TLP more than any other Islamist group that has alarmed many in Pakistan. There are fears it could radicalize parts of the population that had previously opposed Islamist violence. Unlike the Taliban or Al-Qaeda, those supporting Qadim Rizvi's party come from the most popular sect in Pakistan, one that's actually been targeted by jihadists because it's normally associated with more peaceful, tolerant interpretations of Islam. A lot of people see the Barelvi Sufi tradition as being more peaceful and opposed to any kind of violence. And they say that you're distorting that tradition ye to inka apna propaganda hai ki barelvi aman wale zarur hain lekin unke andar jo gairat hai wo bahut aage ki hai to ye to sufism kahin bhi nahi hai ki namus e risalat ke khilaf baat ho to wo sufi jo hai wo muraqabe mein pada rahe ye to kahin bhi nahi hai many tlp supporters like cousins rizwan and temur are also younger and more educated than you might have thought from middle class backgrounds but frustrated with the lack of opportunities available hum isi wajah se support kar rahe hain ki ye ek molviyon ka masla nahi hai balki puri muslims ka jo hai na ye masla hai ke hamare nabi ki jo hai namaz pe inhone awaaz uthayi hai is wajah se hum is party ko support kar rahe hain darasal hamari paidaish hui hai islami ghar mein 
बचपन से ही घर वालों ने मदरसे में डाल दिया था तो बचपन से ही अलहमद ला नमाज़ वगैरह दूसरा तीसरा तो जब आपका एक आपकी ग्रो अप एक ऐसे माशरे में हो जहाँ पे इस्लाम हो तो फिर बंदे का माइंड भी वैसा रहता है Rizvi's influence extends beyond Pakistan. On this poster is a picture of a murderer serving a life sentence in a Scottish jail. In 2016, Tanvir Ahmed from Bradford stabbed a shopkeeper to death in Glasgow for supposedly committing blasphemy. Rizvi has praised the murder and the two exchanged letters from prison. There are other British links too. Amongst those addressing this rally in Royal Pindi, a cleric visiting from Manchester. We are living in this country. Ahmed Nassar Beg has worked on anti-extremism in Britain. He dismisses critics of Pakistani killer Mumtaz Qadri as secularists, but says he firmly condemns any violence in the UK. We always convey our message to our youngs: Don't take law in your hands. This is a non-Muslim country. This is not a Muslim country. Therefore, you can't implement Islamic law in United Kingdom. However, in this country, it's different. But some people would say that's a contradiction to the. There's no contradiction at all. Mohammed Tanvir is in behind the bars at this moment, but you won't see in you know, all over England there is a single procession against his uh, 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 imprisonment. We didn't do that, and we don't support any violence in. United Kingdom Others in Pakistan aren't so nuanced this badge displaying the pictures of both the killers in Pakistan and the UK as well as Rizvi is a common sight at rallies This election could see their influence spread both here and abroad